In this tutorial, we're gonna learn how to create this popcorn box and how to animate this. So first of all, press M and new collection. I'm gonna create a new collection and rename it as popcorn box. Press one. Grab this up a bit on the Z axis. Hold Control and like this. I'm gonna scale it down by using this 3D cursor. Press period button and change the period point to 3D cursor. Now I scale it down. Press the period button. Control A and click on all transforms now press tab and I'm gonna see the measurements where are you measurements as length 22 centimeters height width everything is like 22 centimeters a bit more like this control a all transforms if you're if you're not applying the transforms from here it is not gonna show the exact measurement like let me show you it is 19 centimeters if I'm gonna scale it up and without applying the scale i'm not gonna click on this press tab it's still 19 centimeters are you kidding me it's not 19 centimeters now press tab control a and apply the transform now press again tab now it is gonna show the exact measurement if you ever confuse in this then just apply the the scale and it will show the right number now control z z control z control z Control Z. Okay, 90 centimeters. We need 19 centimeters. Now let me show you. I'm gonna use this measurement. It's 16 centimeters. Okay. We can also use the 19 centimeters. Control A. All transforms. 15 centimeters. Okay, 15 centimeters is fine. Now press 3. Select this one, and it is gonna be 6.3 centimeters. Scale it down. 0 0.06. Okay, it's fine. The upper one, 99 centimeters. Okay. Select the upper face. Scale it down. Okay. Why it is scaling like this? Because it is using this 3D cursor so let me change it by clicking the period button click on this median point and scale it down 0 0.09 okay now we don't need these these measurements because we have done the measurement part press tab control a apply the transform all transforms rotation scaling and everything press tab select this face press x and delete the face select the box not like this press tab select the box is selected okay press f3 now i'm going to use the origami fi add-on if it does not have the origami fi add-on i'm going to put the link in the description you can download it after downloading it and after installing the origami fi add-on press f3 type ori Origami Fi and click on the Origami Fi. It has done something. Click on this one. Disable this and check this unfold. Okay, now we can. Where it is? This is here. Why you are here, bro? I'm gonna select all of them. Press M and click on the popcorn box. Now it is here. Now we don't need this one. And check not just from here. And check also from here. You can also delete this. We don't need it anymore. Now it is something like this i'm gonna use this one and also i'm gonna use this one uh, for the curves i'm gonna use this and for the for these things this is gonna be used for sticking the box together so first of all i'm gonna use i'm gonna make this one press three select these three faces press tab we are gonna add some loop cuts control r and four loop cuts left click right click control r add for loop cuts left click right click roll r for loop cuts left right roll r for left right select these edges zoom in zoom in zoom in zoom in control shift b scroll the wheel up and see the magic left click press x delete the face <laughs> nice great press 1 press 3 sorry now let me animate this box and after animating i am gonna put some extra things but before that let me animate this select all of them mm, disable this one now disable select all of uh, the box faces object origamify and click on animate because we are gonna animate this this is folded but we don't need this folded unfold the keyframe automatically added now i'm gonna put this on 30th frame object origamify click on animate and this is on unfold click on fold the animation ends on 30th frame so i'm gonna put the end frame 35 press space and see animation without rigging without adding any keyframe 
the add-on automatically adds the keyframe now we need we need to add these arms i don't know what do i call it but i need to add this press 3 select this one press tab press two if the edge selection is not selected select these two edges press e right click and scale it on the axis of y now scale it down on the axis of z like this we need one more extrude it on the axis of z and scale it down on the axis of y something like this we need also this type of this type of arm press tab select this one extrude it and scale it down a bit here like this okay now select this one and what i'm going to use i'm going to use the shape keys click on this object data properties click on this add shape key and what is this basis this shape is is stored in this shape key and i'm going to use another shape key for another shape press tab and we are in edit mode select these edges and make this edge active because press period button active element we're going to use the active element uh, to rotate this face let me show you press r and double x no 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 press double y i think okay we're going to rotate this face on its own y axis through the active element active edge mm, i'm gonna use minus 93 degrees enter and select this this face also and make this one active press r y twice and rotate it 93 degrees this one would be positive 93 and this one was negative 93 select these these edges make this one active r x twice i think yes and minus 93 enter now this is stored in this key one now press tab it's all gone why 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 now now from here right click on this value uh, uh, the key one is selected right click insert keyframe and from and from i think this would be fine or or this one let me see okay great push the value to 100 percent right click insert keyframe mm, see great great I'm gonna use the same thing for this edge from the object data properties from the shape keys add a shape key this shape is added in this basis and I'm gonna use one other for my own shape and this is also my shape but for the another shape tab and from here I'm gonna press 7 for the top view and grab this one here okay press G and X okay this this one is this this will be fine great what I'm gonna use press tab and I'm gonna I'm gonna add a keyframe here insert keyframe and before hitting it before it this face hits this face I'm gonna push the value to 1 1 means 100% 0 means 0% right click insert keyframe and play the animation okay it's, it's great great the animation part is done we have done all the animation part this is the die line and this is the box this is the popcorn box modifiers add modifier press y for the solidify modifier okay this is this is too thick i'm not gonna use this thickness reduce the thickness first of all i'm gonna use it uh, not on the not on the negative side i'm gonna use it on the positive side reduce the thickness reduce the thickness let me put one more zero okay it is too low and then i can use 0 0.0005 it is in meters and this object is too small press enter this would be fine i think and i see the other objects nothing happens to these 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 ones click on this drop down menu copy to select it now everyone is everyone is fine now
select this one right click shade arrow smooth because this will smooth these curves a bit select this one right click shade arrow smooth select this one right click shade arrow smooth for this one also we don't need it to uh, for this one because there's no curved shapes here and after adding some textures and doing some lighting parts it is gonna look like this thanks for watching see you later